Okay, students, we are here at the library, what we call the library room in Mr. Smith's house, where we have all of our books and stuff, most of our books. And my kids have had a pencil sharpener that they've been doing for their school that is broken. So we're going to, I got them a new pencil sharpener. We're going to, oops, please. We're going to take their old pencil sharpener apart. Here we go. I wonder how we get into this thing, first of all. This is this thing. Open that. Oh. <laughs> we have pencil shavings. Paxton, go right there. Whoops. Right there by my finger, that white thing. That is the motor. That's the motor that's going to make this turn around. And it's not going to get me because it's unplugged right now. Okay. Now we're going to, I want to show you guys how this switch works. When I put this pencil in, this little piece of plastic pushes back and it pushes the switch. Watch what happens when I put the pencil in. When I push the pencil, it hits that piece of plastic and pushes the switch backwards. When the electricity connects right here, it makes the motor go. Okay, as I get looking in here, down at the bottom, I see some little tiny screws to take out, to take this cover off. So Charlie's gonna help me take the screws out. Okay, here we go. I can break this pencil sharpener because it's already a broken one. We're just looking inside of it. Here we go. Looking inside this pencil sharpener. I'm pulling it apart. You got the hammer? I think you should put the hammer down. Thank you. Okay, now baby Janet has joined us in taking things apart. Say hi, baby. We're, now that we took the screws out, this is just going to slide on out of there. And this is what it looks like on the inside of a pencil sharpener. Can I see? That is Careful not to break the wire. Okay, class, now I've got it apart. Let me show you how it works. Right here is the spot where it plugs into the wall. You guys have seen plugins like this before. This little thing is going to plug into that hole right here, which I'll do later. There are two switches on this. This is a switch it has at the bottom to make sure that the cover is pushed in all the way to catch the shavings before you start sharpening. This is a switch it has on the top to make sure that the other cover is on so no one gets cut while they're trying to do the pencil sharpening. Once the two switches are on, electricity is going to go to this motor. Inside this motor, there's copper. Copper becomes a magnet when electricity runs through it. And have you guys ever seen where magnets push away from each other? They repel each other? Inside here, the copper becomes a magnet. And on the outside of here, there is a magnet. And so when the copper becomes a magnet on the inside, and the, the magnet on the outside of the copper is already a magnet, the, the inside starts to repel from the outside and it starts and it doesn't have anywhere to go so it just repels in a circle a circle a circle and it repels over and over and over and spins when it starts spinning it's going to move that gear right down in there the mat the motor inside the metal tube will spin it'll move that gear and that gear will move this metal sharpener so the pencil gets sharp now you get to see it in action. Charlie, come. Okay, so I've got to be careful. Now we're going to see how this actually works. I've got to be careful not to get electrocuted. I'm going to put this in the hole. I'm going to connect the two switches. And Brecken is going to put the pencil in for us. Brecken, put the pencil in. And you hold it there. I'm going to connect the two switches. And 
Reckon push hard. Let's see if it'll sharpen it. Oh, hey, you're okay, bud. Okay, pull it out. Ta-da! All right. So that is how the inside of a pencil sharpener works. Okay, guys, now that you've seen how the inside of it looks, I've decided it would be a good idea to take it apart one more layer and really see inside of it. Here we have the gears. When the motor turns, it turns all these gears on top to make the sharpener inside this hole also turn. Brecken, let's see what this looks like. Okay, so... The motor is turning. The motor is turning. Which is making all these gears turn to turn inside that hole. Brecken, put the pencil in so they can see. Pretty interesting how all those gears tur work. One gear turns another gear, which turns another gear. So this motor that's over here can actually turn the sharpener that's over here. The motor's over here, but it has to turn the sharpener over here. So all these gears are used to connect it from one spot to another. Interesting. Next, I'm going to take apart these two screws next to the gear right here so you can see what the motor really looks like inside. Okay, now I've got the motor out of the hole. It slid right out. You can see it has a little gear on the end. Nice little gear. Now, I'm going to take off the top part of the motor here so we can see what the inside looks like. Okay, now that I've got the cover off, we can look inside of this. This this orange copper wire right here becomes a magnet when electricity touches it. There's a magnet right here on the outside and a magnet right here on the outside. Those two magnets are repelling this magnet. So when this orange stuff, the copper, becomes a magnet, these outside magnets repel it and it has nowhere to go, so it just spins in a circle. It's called an electromagnet. You'll learn about it more in fifth grade, but it's pretty interesting to see it at work here in the pencil sharpener. So I hope you enjoyed that, and please remember not to be go taking things apart uh, without your parents' permission, especially anything that would be connected to electricity is not okay for you to try doing, only um, someone who knows how to do it. So we always want to make sure we're staying safe. But I hope you enjoyed seeing the inside of a pencil sharpener.